Hey guys, welcome. Guess what? I finally found a way to actually use the P. Louise blank canvas on my very, very hooded eyes and mature lids. Um, I was getting a problem, as, as you know, if you watched any of my videos previous to this, I'll pop the little pics of how many times I've tried to get this to work. Um, and I finally found a way to actually use it. Now, one of the advantages of using this also is that you can cut your crease a lot easier, I feel. And you don't have to go in and clean up that lid with all the color or particularly if you've got a dark color on the lid prior so you don't need to clean that off you can actually go straight over the top with the blank canvas so I've come up with this look today using the Juvia's Place Tribe palette which I'm in love with I love the colors I like the way that it's turned out so in this video I'm going to show you the technique I've used to actually be able to be successful with this product on very hooded eyes. I've used it in a way that produces no cracks and no creasing. So let's get into the video. Alright, starting out as always with my P. Louise 01. You will have seen this a thousand times on my P. Louise brush. Now, the reason why I've been persisting with this blank canvas on my lid is that because it's just so much easier, in my opinion, to cut the crease with. So I've been persisting, so I've finally found a way that us hooded eyes ladies can actually use it. So, I've got to get that crease colour in and my transition colour before I can show you, so I'm going just about all over, right up into the crease, into the transition, trying to leave as much of that lid space as I can and then right out to this outer corner here. So get that as flat as you can and as neat as you can and then I always go in with my NARS 42 blending brush just to tap that, just to get it nice and smooth ready for my crease and transition colors. So first up I'm going to hit Ashanti which is a nice cool brown and I'm locking my Evan Decay contour eyeshadow contour brush again. So I'm just going to pat that in on the outer corner and then go into my socket. Now make sure hooded eyes ladies that we go up high enough so right up into your socket here and round that off as well. If you've seen any of my previous videos you will know that I need to round that off. As you can relax down you can see that flattens right out. So you've got to concentrate on rounding that out while your eyes are really relaxed. So basically just tapping this colour in first up. Okay, so I've got that colour in. It's almost like a khaki green. Looks brown in the pan. So I'm going to grab my Morphe 506 and as usual go right around the very edge of that colour in circular motions. Just blending it out ready for the next colour. Alright, so that's blended out nicely. I'm loving this palette. I've got one other Juvia's Place palette which is the Festival which has bright colours and I loved that as well. And these colours are just so pigmented and beautiful to blend. So I'm going in with a Smith Arrowhead Lay Down Brush or Lay Down Arrowhead 253. So it's got a little point to it. I'm liking this for laying down colour. So I'm going into a Romo. That's a burnt orange and I'm just going to place this right around the edge. So I'm going onto that blend line 50% and then 50% above. Right into the inner corner. And I'm just grabbing a Morphe 507 and I'm just going very lightly around the edge of that colour, blending it up a little bit more into my eyebrow area here. Now 
And I'm going to grab that NARS 42. Just go right across the middle where the two colours meet. And then of course I'm going back and intensifying that first colour, Ashanti, on the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Contouring Brush. So I'm just placing that back in. Just blending again with the NARS 42. And then I might go back in once more and put a little bit more intensity back in. So I'll go back in once more. I think this is the key to blending is just going backwards and forwards with colours and blending and adding again and re-blending. Hooded Eyes Ladies making sure you retain that rounded shape there. Alright, now this is where the magic happens. Now, if you've watched any of my previous videos on using the P. Louise Blank Canvas, you know that I haven't had any luck with putting a matte colour over the top of it, or matte shadow. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you what I'm doing to actually be able to be successful. So I'm going to put a little bit of the Blank Canvas on my hand there. I'm going to get my MAC 242, which I found is the best brush for actually cutting a crease. Now it is a difficult task at the best of times. The reason I wanted to persist with this is that because the blank canvas is so much easier to cut your crease with. So I'm going to show you. Make sure you flatten out your brush as much as you can in the product and get, as, get the tip saturated as well. And then go in as you ordinarily would to cut your crease. Now I'm finding that just stamping on the tip is much easier with this product. It just comes out easier. So I'm going to go back to my old little tip of actually popping a little bit of product on the lid here and tilting my head down and looking up. And this, my lovely ladies, is where you're going to cut the crease if you've got hooded eyes. So you want to start there basically. So you want to match up that inner corner up to that area and keep it nice and rounded as you continue on. So I'm just going to pop my brush in and stamp and just pull backwards. Now the other advantage of using this blank canvas is that you don't need to clean up that lid. So this will cover everything that you've got on that lid and that's a really dark colour, that one there. So continuing on I want to match up with this line up here. So I'm stamping and pulling backwards stamp and pull backwards stamp with the tip and pull backwards all the way along and this is where you need to keep rounding that off as well so there's no good going in with a nice crease color and having it nice and rounded if you don't round off that cut area I'm going to go to about there where that dark color is and then you can just go back in and just tidy up. Try not to go up too high or actually go over the line that you've created. But just go back in and just keep on stamping. Trying to stay as still as you can when you're doing this. So talking is not really a good idea. And definitely take your time with this. This is not a process that you want to rush by any means. That's still a bit flat there. Now I want to go in and actually put this colour on my lid but what I want to do is try and take off as much as I can in the same breath. So I'm trying to shear this out as much as I can. I'm not, I've not got a whole heap of product. Now what you want to do while that product is damp and wet on your lid is just go back in with something like your NARS 42, a really very, very, very soft blending brush and just tap that off 
like you did when you first went in with P. Louise on the crease and above. So just tapping that very lightly. If one side gets a little bit wet, just turn it over and use the other side. Now I was having trouble, like I said, with putting matte over the top of this. But I'm going to go in with some shimmer. The shimmer works. I'm so excited. Now I'm going to go back into a shanty on a Morphe brush and I just want to blend that over the edge. Right there. Pack it in as much as you can. I don't want to go too far because I want to put three more colours on the lid here. Now I am going on an angle, like a 45 degree angle on the outer edge here. So now I'm going to take my MAC 239, nice flat brush for placing colour on. And I want to use about a third of the lid, so I want to place that over the outer corner. Now if you've got a natural crease happening here because of your hooded eyes, it's really quite low. Make sure you pack that colour right in. It's a gorgeous blue. So right up to that cut line. Put the colour right on the tip of the brush and go right in to get it right up on that line. And I've stayed on that angle of a 45 degree. Just going back and making sure everything's pushed right into those wrinkles or creases in your eyes. I'm going to go into a very small brush. This is a Sigma E21. So it's really quite tiny. I'm going to go into Chagra. And this is a gold. So I want to go right down into the inner corner where that cut line is and place that gold in. The colors in this palette are beautiful. Now I'm going on a 45 degree again here. This way. Packing that colour right into the creases on my eye. Packing the colour right on the tip and going right in on that line. Alright, last colour I'm going in with the Makeup Forever 240 into Curler. So it's a nice copper. And I'm going to place that. I'm going to turn my brush so that I don't ruin the shape that I've created with the 45 degree angles. Just rest your finger on your forehead when you're doing this. Just helps. And right up to that line. Once again going in on the tip. Once again, really getting into those creases on your eyelid there. And what I'm just going to do is grab Chagra on my finger and just go right in over the top just to intensify the metallic. Same with Cuba. Just right in the middle of everything. You don't have to be too strict with where you put it and the curler right down the middle. So when I tested this the other day that did not crack or crease. So it's working with metallics and I'm so happy. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup, the other eye, try and get that orange off there now and come back and what I'm going to do is mimic the bottom lash line with those colours. Alrighty, so just about everything else is on. I've gone in and put some lashes on. I've used Kiss, it's an affordable brand, Kiss Lash Couture Triple Push Up in Brasserie. Gone in with my Marc Jacobs Blacker in the tight line and I've gone and put some Melt Lip Liner in Baked and this is one of the Nudes colours in Golden. I love this colour, absolutely beautiful. I love it. So I'm going to go in now with this uh, NYX retractable eyeliner in gold. Just pop that right in the waterline. 
Can't seem to get it to come out very well. Hmm. Backwards and forwards a few times and then it starts to come out. It's not particularly vibrant. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and set that waterline with the colours that I actually put on the lid. So I'm going in with a Too Faced liner brush. It's quite pointy. So I'm just going to set the outside waterline with Cuba. I'm just going along the underneath the lash line as well with that colour. So I'm just mimicking the lid basically. Going in with Chagra on that uh, E21 from Sigma. So I'm setting the inner corner there and just underneath the lash line there. I'm going into Curler with a dose of colours flat definer brush. Oof, a little bit in my eye there. Just a little bit underneath. And on a 221 I'm just going to go into Aromo, which was this colour here. Actually I'm just going to pop a little bit more on the outer edge here and join that up. And just right underneath with that. Now there's been no cracking or creasing on my lid. So it works with shimmer, yay, I'm so excited. All right, that's enough for underneath. I'm just gonna go in with a little tiny detail brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just gonna place Coro just right in the very corner. Now I don't wanna go up into that cut crease line. I just wanna place it just below. So normally I would place that up a little bit higher and out a little bit more. But I'm just gonna put that there. And then I'm just going in with my extended play gig black lash from MAC. I'm just popping a little bit of that on the bottom lashes. So I'm happy with myself. I'm so happy that I've actually got that blank canvas to work. Um, now if we stick with the metallics or shimmers, shimmers on the eyes, I mean I haven't tested it with glitter yet, but I would imagine if you put a shimmer down and then put some glitter glue and some glitter over the top that you wouldn't have any problems at all but I'm definitely steering away from the mattes with this product. All right, so that's the final look. So I am ecstatic that I can actually use this. I didn't have to chuck it out. So my hooded eyes girls and my girls practicing cut creases out there, if you want to grab a blank canvas, if you're in Australia, you can buy that now at Glam Raider. And then of course at P. Louise themselves in the UK. Um, the palette itself from Juvia's Place, brilliant. Pigmentation is fantastic. The colors are gorgeous. The only colors that I really haven't used are these uh, really light lime, almost neon color there. And then the lime green and the dark green. So I'll probably do a look with that as well. But loving the colors that are in this palette. So, so if you like the look today, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe and share with your friends. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye.